I'm going to go over some problems from worksheet 4. Uh, solving rational equations. Here we're asked to solve the following equations and then state whether the equation has no real solution, one real solution, two real solutions, or infinitely many solutions. We're going to start with number 3 and on number three we have to substitute an x for f of x and we get x over x squared minus eight is equal to two over x and uh, so we want to get a common denominator and if I multiply uh, the these are equivalent fractions so if I get a common denominator then I could set the numerator equal to zero um, so the left side I'm going to multiply by x and the right side I'm going to multiply by x squared minus eight Notice the denominators are equal, the fractions are equal, so the numerators must be equal. So here, because we our denominators are equal, we can set our numerators equal to each other and say x times x, which is x squared, is equal to 2 times x squared minus 8, which is 2x squared minus 16. Subtract x squared from both sides, and we get 0 is x squared minus 16, and then we can continue to solve by factoring x plus t 4 times x minus 4 and each factor gives you a solution if x plus 4 equals 0 we get x equals negative 4 if x minus 4 equals 0 we get x equals positive 4 let's just check to make sure those are not excluded values our excluded values here looking at the denominator would be x can't be 0 and also x squared minus 8 can't be 0 which means x squared cannot equal 8 which means that x cannot equal the positive or negative square root of 8 which simplifies to positive or negative 2 root 2 So our answers are x equals negative 4 and x equals 4, so uh, we're not, we don't need to exclude those values, so we have our answers, and um, we're supposed to say how many real so, uh, solutions we have. We have two real solutions. On to number 8. 8, we have three fractions. And uh, we're going to get a common denominator here. Uh, the second, or the last fraction, factors to x times x minus 3. Uh, so first fraction, I'm going to have to multiply by an x, top and bottom. Second fraction needs an x minus 3. And so on the left side, we're subtracting fractions. They have a common denominator, and we get 6x minus 6 times x minus 3 all over x times x minus 3 is equal to 18 times, so 18 over x times x minus 3. So we have two, we have a fraction equal to another fraction where the denominators are the same so we can drop the denominators and set the numerators equal to each other. And we get 6x minus, I'm going to distribute that, minus 6x plus 18 equals 18. And uh, 6x minus 6x is 0. We get, end up with 18 equals 18. 
which means that we can plug in anything for x in, in the numerator and uh, we're going to have uh, all real solutions but notice that there are some exclusions so like for example x cannot equal 0 and x cannot equal um, 3 so um, our solution is all real numbers um, ex uh, ex except for or excluding uh, 0 and 3 and so we have an infinite number of real solutions. Let's now take a look at number 13. 13 we have f of x equals x minus 1 and so the first step here would be to substitute that in wherever there's an x minus 1 or f of x so x minus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 2 over x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to x minus put in parentheses x minus 1 over x minus 1 simplify this a little bit and we get x over x minus 1 minus 2 over x is equal to well this is going to be um, a negative x and a positive 1 so 1 over x minus 1 we need a common denominator so I'm going to multiply the first fraction by x the second fraction by x minus 1 and the third fraction by x and the first two fractions we can subtract so we get x squared minus 2 times x minus 1 all over x times x minus 1 is equal to x over x times x minus 1 so we have two fractions that are equal to each other. They both have a common denominator. So we can set our numerators equal to each other and get x squared minus 2x plus 2 is equal to x. Subtract x and we get x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 and try to factor this two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to negative 3 x minus 2 negative 2 and negative 1 and so x minus 2 equals 0 gives us x equals 2 x minus 1 equals 0 gives us x equals positive 1 let's check which x values we need to exclude because we can't divide by 0 so we have x minus 1 cannot equal 0 meaning x cannot equal 1 and we also have that x cannot equal 0 but if we look at our solution we have x equals 2 and x equals 1 but x can equal 1 so we have to throw that out and uh, x equals 2 is acceptable and so we only have 1 real solution. Number 17. I'm going to factor uh, the denominator x squared plus minus 6x plus 8 and that factors to x minus 2 times x minus 4. I get three fractions. I want them all to have the same denominator. The first fraction I will multiply top and bottom by x minus 4. The second fraction I will multiply by x minus 2. 
and now all three fractions have the same denominator. Because the first two fractions have a common denominator, I could subtract them and get x squared minus 4x minus 2 times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 times x minus 4. And that's equal to the 4x minus 12 over x minus 2 times x plus x minus 4. So we have a fraction equal to a fraction. Both fractions have the same denominator. So we could set the numerators equal to each other. And get x squared minus 4x minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 4x minus 12. Negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x. If I add 4x, sorry, subtract 4x from both sides, you get negative 10x, and the 4x goes away on the right hand side, just 0. Add 12 to both sides, And now try to factor. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to negative 10. Negative 8 and negative and, uh, 2. So x minus 8 times x minus 2 equals 0. Set each factor equal to 0 and solve. And you get x is 8 and x is 2. Let's go check what values we needed to exclude. Denominator cannot be 0, so we can't have x minus 2 equaling 0, which means x cannot equal 2, but we got 2, so we got to throw that one out. Also, x minus 4 cannot equal 0, so that means x cannot equal 4. We don't have 4 as an answer, so that's okay. So 8 is the only one we can keep, and that's one real solution. Next, let's take a look at number 21. We want to solve the equation f of x equals g of x algebraically. So if f of x equals g of x, that means 2 over x plus 1 is equal to x minus 6 over x squared minus 1. x squared minus 1 factors to x plus 1 times x minus 1. So to get uh, to compare these fractions, uh, I'm going to get a common denominator and multiply the first one, top and bottom, by x minus 1. So now the fractions have a common denominator, so we can set the numerators equal to each other and get 2x minus 2 is equal to x minus 6. Subtract x from both sides. Uh, add 2 to both sides, and we get x is negative 4. Uh, let's check to make sure that's not an excluded value. Uh, x plus 1 cannot equal 0. So that means x cannot equal 1. And that's fine. That's not a solution of ours. Also, x minus 1 cannot equal 0. So solving this, we get x cannot equal 1. Sorry, the first one should have been negative 1. This one's a positive 1. And uh, neither of those are solutions, so we can keep our answer, and we get um, one real solution. And that's the last one I'm going to go over on this worksheet.